So in the previous lesson, we defined the second database and we used it, for example, when we uh, were saving students. So when we, uh, for example, want to do any operation using the manager, uh, we could uh, use this uh, method using and we would define the database that we want to use. And basically we could uh, do the stuff uh, for different databases uh, manually. But sometimes, for example, when we have this uh, student model, uh, we don't want, for example, to always specify uh, right in the code, or right when we make queries, uh, we don't want to specify that we use students because we actually want to use this database always for a student model. And for that we need routing. So basically I also created one more application. Uh, it's called administration and this administration application has model administrator. And let's imagine that when we work with administrator, we want to use a different database. And when we work uh, with student, we want to use different database. And I defined here, apart from this default database, I defined two more database. Uh, this is students database and admins database. I already created this in Postgres uh, backend, so uh, of course you need to do that before you actually can set up uh, your databases in settings. But uh, that's what I did. I set up my students database and admins database. And basically the logic here would be that in this application, uh, when we work with models with uh, administration, application we use admins database uh, when we work with models from searching application we should work with students database and in order to do that we need to define database routers i already uh, created them so i created them here uh, in models databases folder so for example, here is the student router and basically a uh, router will have uh, these four default functions, four default methods, db for read, db for write, allow relation and allow migrate. So basically here uh, in this first method, we define the logic for choosing the database for our operations. Uh, here we define logic for choosing the database for writing. Here we uh, define uh, the logic if two objects can be actually related to each other. And here uh, uh, we define if we allow, uh, allow migration uh, from uh, of the object to a particular database. So for example, uh, we define here the first router, student router, and here we say that if, so, so we, we have his, uh, here the model, and we can actually, uh, from the meta attributes, we can get the uh, application label, and if the application label is searching, then we return the students, meaning that, uh, we would uh, we would read from the student's database and the same goes for writing and uh, basically the same logic goes for relation so if if both of these um, objects are in are from a searching uh, application then we uh, return students and if uh, if we migrate and the application label is searching, then we again uh, choose the database for migration. 
And the same uh, logic I used for defining the admin router. So if the application label is administration, then we use this admins database. And here we actually, so we created these files here, for example, you can define it anywhere. But then in settings, you should actually uh, define the paths to these uh, files in database routers variable. And basically now we can uh, use them. So I already uh, migrated and I have already set up everything. So right now uh, we can, for, for example, try to create a student. Let's do it like that. And now if we if we try to retrieve all the objects of the uh, model students, of course we get we got them, but the question right now for us is uh, what database we actually used. And to check it out, uh, again, uh, even if we have routing, we actually can uh, kind of uh, rewrite the routing manually right here. So even even if we have a routing for our student model, and if we uh, want to always use students database, when we uh, communicate with students objects, uh, we still can uh, use this using method to actually use a particular database uh, which is um, different from what we uh, defined in the routing. And here, as you can see, I try to get all the students from the default database and I got none. I can also try admins database again none and actually now I can be sure that when I created the student though I didn't specify manually here which database to use we actually save this user uh, we save this student to students uh, database and also when we for example trying to read the students we also by default now reading from the students uh, database because that's what we uh, defined here and the same goes for administration so from administration models So again, if we're trying, for example, if you are trying to get uh, the administration objects from the default database, we got none. From students database, we got none, but of course from the admins we got uh, the object that we uh, just created because again as we used this uh, router admin router uh, it actually defined that if uh, the application label of our object is administration administration then we use this admins database and it's also important to keep the ordering of our routers for example um, we might have conflicting 
we might have conflicting logics here. So for example, we have the student router and uh, which is saying that if the application label is searching, then we uh, refer this object to students database but here in administration router for example we can say that if application label is searching then uh, we could use admins database and right now let's um, let's actually delete everything from here let's exit and right now again we have these conflicting configurations here uh, one router is saying that we should use students database for students and the other router saying that we need to use admins database for students so searching models import student and now let's try to create the student and of course we now save the students but uh, where exactly we save them so this is the question right because we have conflicting logic here did we save it in the students database or in admins database well we can actually check it out again uh, manually specifying different databases and we actually see that we have here uh, our uh, our newly created object in students database so basically as you can see though we had conflicting configurations django automatically used the first one so uh, basically our object went through the student router and checked that okay this application label is searching so we should return the students and it didn't go forward it didn't go to admin router it didn't go to the second router and it just uh, it just used the first router to actually uh, get the database that uh, this object should use 